if I nod off a little bit while I'm talking, I'm just a little bit exhausted, um, and uh, and understandably so. But I, it's just the stretch we just went through. It, it was uh, very uh, grueling uh, to have three row games in a row uh, to go, you know, all the way up north to Hofstra, uh, to Boston, come back, go back up to Drexel, and then come back and finish it against a tough Hofstra team is uh, is very tough, and for us to go. 4-0 uh, during the stretch, you know, in, in my opinion, it's pretty remarkable. I'm very, very proud of the kids. And, uh, you know, tonight, tonight, you know, I really felt like we were, um, we, we were, we were on fumes a little bit. Uh, we, we were. And I think that, uh, I think that that was a, a, a big reason for the sloppy play. And uh, I, I'm not sure what Krista said or what she even feels, but I felt like their team was a little bit fatigued uh, as well uh, during certain stretches of the game. And it's just, it's tough. It's tough. And, and. You know, I, I was not a proponent of, of the Friday Sunday format, uh, where you know we're playing Friday night at seven o'clock and in Philadelphia, and we get back at three o'clock and we have a one o'clock tip. You know, on Sunday, you know, you, you're going to have some fatigue, and we battled through that, and I was very proud of the kids for that. And uh, but I just felt like we were a little bit off tonight. Um, I thought some of the plays that we normally make. Uh, we were a little bit slow to them. I thought we were a little bit hesitant in our offense um, because the shots weren't really falling, so we were stagnant. And uh, you give credit to Hofstra. Some of that was because of them. I thought they did a really good job of, uh, of making us uh, stand, stand around and shoot you know, jump shots. Um, but, but again, you know, I thought we did a really good job. I thought Kayla Cooper-Williams was, was a, you know, a low down, down low. Rebounding the basketball, giving us second chance opportunities, set 16 rebounds. Um, I thought Muff Mickens had a had a glow in her eye all night long. You know, she hit the little mid range jump shot. She pushed the tempo. Uh, did a really good job for us. Uh, even got a block tonight. You know, which is something that is that her first one of the, of the year. Uh, no. Okay. Well, it's the first one in that fashion. Uh, Jazz struggled a little bit with her shot. Thought she was a lot of back rim shots. She was like that a little bit on uh, Friday night. Um, you know, this rest is going to be good for her, but, you know, she found her way and hit some big shots for us. Uh, so a lot of people contributed in a, in, a, in a way. It was kind of tough with Dee Dee Griffin being in foul trouble for majority of the game, but it was a collective effort. You know, everybody stepped up when they had to. And uh, for us to get through this, you know, stretch 4-0, you know, I think it was really, really big for us and uh, gives us a little bit of a cushion as we continue on and try to uh, continue on our winning ways. You know what, um, Muff, we, we've been through so much together. Um, like, kind of like when she talks to me sometimes and she talks really fast and I just ignore her. I kind of ignore her when she kind of does some of that stuff. But um, as, long as, as long as she's not, you know, doing it and directing it at anyone, you know, in fact, gets her feeling stronger. Um, you know, as a matter of fact, it's funny, I didn't even see her do it at all tonight. And that's just because I'm used to, I'm used to her doing it. Uh, and as long as she doesn't do it at anyone, um, if that, if that gets her going, you know, it gets her going. But I thought she just really had a, a glow in her eye that I just really felt like she wasn't going to let us lose the basketball game. And she did it. She did it up there, you know, nine days ago. Had a pretty much a pretty much similar game with I think twenty points. You guys crushed a lot of teams last season. Now you're winning in more grinded out fashion. Is it any more enjoyable for you as a coach? Or <laughs> more stressful, some more greater? You know, you know, it, it's actually more enjoyable. Um, and, and and through this process, I've learned to stop and smell the roses. More, more so. I mean, last year, last year we had we had all the pieces intact, and we were fortunate enough to be able to go through uh, the season relatively healthy. You know, so at this time of the year, last year, it was like we knew who we were, we knew what we wanted to do. Let's just go out and execute it. You know, every day I come to practice now, and I'm like, okay, well, who am I going to put in this situation? Who am I going to put in that situation? And the fact that we're what one game off, you know, last year's pace is pretty remarkable. Um, doing it with you know the the player of the year sitting on the bench and, you know, a kid who was filling in for her, you know, pretty good, uh, pretty well, um, Ashley Perez sitting on the bench and doing it with, you know, players who, are, who, have, who haven't played, you know, in, in a big roles like that. So I think, I think the last two years, uh, and I've said it, um, myself included, I think we've all gotten pretty spoiled, you know, with the blowout wins, you know, and the chicken nuggets and all this kind of stuff. What you're seeing right now is reality. You know, reality of a league that you know has a lot of parity, uh, and especially since we don't have our two top players, um, you know, where you're gonna have to battle. And the fact that you know we win on a day where we did not play well, in my estimation, um, and we still win by 15, you know, it's it's a pretty good it's a pretty good 
you know, gesture for your team and to understand where you are. And uh, it, it's because that's a good team, you know. They're, they're a good team. So I thought our defense was tremendous today. We held them to 42 points. And so we just find different ways to uh, to win. But uh, to answer your question, I, I think I did answer your question a little bit. But if I didn't, I, I really do enjoy this team. I, I really do. I mean, they come to work every day, and uh, they're a confident group. They're fun. They, they laugh. They joke. They they dance. They uh, they help me stay young, so I don't get gray hairs. You know, even in tight you know even in tight situations, even even at Drexel on Friday night, they, they were they didn't panic. You know, there, there was no panic in our in our locker room, and I, there was no panic in our huddle. It was like, okay, we are playing really bad, and they are playing really good, and we need to just really have a sense of urgency. And uh, and when we took it possession by possession, we we were trying to play the game in increments, and we were trying to chop the lead down, and we were we were setting short term goals, and we 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 were reaching all of our goals, and lo and behold, before the next thing we knew, we looked up and it was a tie game. And so we were able to overcome that. And I think that's going to help us uh, down the stretch as well. Did you ever imagine Caleb Cooper Williams would play 36 minutes at this point in the year? Absolutely not. Uh, I, I knew the freshman group we have, I, I really like them. They're going to be really good. you know. And, and they had to come along a lot quicker uh, than we've anticipated with the, with the adversity, with the injuries and whatnot. We felt like Kayla was going to be able to help us because she was her defense is way ahead of her offense. And uh, what's really surprised me is how well, how far she's come offensively. And she understands it. You know, we can put her out there with any, you know, scheme that we want to, uh, to execute. And she understands it very quickly. She has a very high basketball IQ. And it falls in line with, you know, with Muff and with Jazz and Precious and all those guys. And she makes a few mistakes here and there, but they're not freshman mistakes. You know, it's just because it's a mistake. But she, she is, you know, fantastic. There was tonight... A couple times tonight, where I thought she went up and got a couple rebounds, and uh, that, that's that's instinct. You know, we're teaching her a few things, how to do some things differently on the college level. But very impressed of uh, some of the rebounds that she got. You know, now, you know where you can you can see her maturation is that in the beginning of the season she might be able to get her hand on it. All right, to now she's being able to grab it. To now she's being able to grab it and finish it when she gets an offensive rebound. So. Um, very, very pleased with her. You know, to, she had to play 36 minutes tonight because of Dee Dee's foul trouble. Uh, but we'd like to keep her around, you know, 28, 30. And but she's, she's, you know, just, uh, I mean, growing leaps and bounds right in front of our eyes. Dee Dee's had one shot tonight, but it was pretty much a kill shot. I told her she better made that shot. She was the freshest person out on the court, and <laughs> everybody else was dragging, and and she was fresh, and because uh, she hadn't played very much. But that's a shot that we've encouraged her to take, and uh, they clearly were. You know, playing off of her, trying to really focus on Jasmine, and uh, and that's a shot where we weren't making that shot. You know, throughout the game, you know, Haley struggled a little bit to make that shot, and Logan had a couple of them that rimmed in and out, and uh, and you know, sticking inserting Dee Dee in, and she was able to knock down that shot, and it really you know gave us a sigh of relief. You know, I think we were up six when she shot it, put us up nine. Haley ended up getting a steal, uh, and putting the game pretty much out of reach. But um, you know, we we need Dee Dee's presence on the court, and when she had silly fouls like she did tonight. It puts us in a, in a pickle, so to speak, and uh, we, we just can't. We can't have her on the bench. So, But when she shot it and she came to the bench, I said, you better have made that shot because you were really fresh, and, uh, and she knocked it down. She gave me a little smile, smirk. So, Chad, only, uh, you only got 10 practice players right now, right? Yeah. Yeah. What happened yeah. to Amber Porter? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> I, I, I really don't. Um, it was just freak. We were. I, she hasn't practiced with us since Christmas. Um, and actually before Christmas. And it was just something that um, I, I've been given a couple of different diagnoses. But the next thing I know, she has a uh, cast on her foot, and the trainers are doing a really good job with that. And I've been focusing on other other areas. But she hasn't been able to practice. But the, the biggest, I mean, the big plus for us is when we're at home, we have practice, a male practice squad, and we're able to use them. Uh, but you really can't use them pretty much when you're when you get to the weekend because uh, yeah, there's no practice guy right there. Uh, I, um, you really can't use them once you get to the weekend because Saturday has to be a walkthrough. You know you can't even you know do anything up and down because the kids are so exhausted from the night before. So the non-basketball injury. No, it's basketball. Yeah, it's basketball. Now she's running. Um, she's running down the floor and she just stopped and something with her foot. You know, I, I don't, I don't know if it's, I don't think it's Liz Frank, but they, they just really put her in a cast so that she keeps pressure off of it. When was your freshman? Uh, she is not with us right now at the moment. Uh, she is just 
really has to um, just figure out this college thing. And uh, we, we have an opportunity to allow her to do that. You know, just, oh yeah, yeah, there, there's chance. It's just, you know, it's, when, when you get here, we want to make sure that you can stay here and, and there's certain things that you have to focus on before you can, uh, can get to the, to the good part. Basketball. School, sorry. Jazz herself personally outscored Hofstra's entire offense in the first quarter. And it seemed like the team was rallying around that. What do you think that says as a role as a leader on this team? Um, I think what she's done uh, and, and transforming her role, her new role, has been tremendous because her, her whole mindset has always been, I'm just going to do, I'm going to fill in when I have to, where I have to. Uh, I remember, I, I've said this, you, you, can, you can go back and look. I've always said Jazz was the most talented kid I've ever coached. You know, um, the things that she can do, uh, it's just, it's unbelievable. And I can never really get her to get that mindset to really take over. And, you know, she told me one day, she said, I don't need to take over. You know, we have Kirby Burkholder. You know, we have, we have Precious Hall. We have Lady inside. We have, you know, whatever, Toya. And I, I kind of agreed with her, but I said, okay, I, I still want you to be more aggressive. But she would just do the, the dirty work, get a rebound, you know, guard the best player on the other team, you know, make the pass. The very next year, you know, Kirby left, and then, you know, Precious emerged in that in that role, and Jazz still took a took a back seat. I think she averaged nine points a game, and uh, I still said she's the best player that I have, and but she just wouldn't get into that role. This year, she was forced to get into it, and now, you know, she's playing with a swagger that okay, she understands where her spots are, and it's it's good, it's good uh, where she's uh, picking her, picking and choosing to shoot the ball. She's more aggressive. In the beginning, she was very shy about taking twenty plus shots in a game. Uh, now I think she likes it. <laughs> you know, she really likes it, and she's looking for it. And uh, and she's probably you know one of the best superstars that I've had, if not the best. You know because there's so many things that I can do with her. It's not like a, you know certain kids that I've had where they can only score in certain spots. She can score from all over on the floor, and we can run different things for her. Uh, I thought she was a little fatigued tonight, but still she's got that will and understands. Even when she's not hitting, she's drawing so much attention that you know there's two people on her, and when she shoots it, you know we're, we're pretty good at crashing the boards and when we have an advantage because two people on her you know it's still a plus for us and uh but she's she's like she's really liking that role now and I think she's seen everybody once and a couple teams twice and understands what people are trying to do with her